both of you guys, what are just kind of thoughts on the opener to tomorrow night and how's maybe that going to be a little feel a little different than these exhibition games? Have? Uh, well, for me, it's just going out there and doing what we did in the ex exhibition games, uh, picking up from our mistakes. Um, in practice, we've been getting a lot better at what we need to do to improve uh, every game. So just going out there and doing that. Yeah, I think the same thing, you know, just focusing on the things uh, that hurt us in the exhibition games. And, you know, now that it's really the real thing, we got to make sure we got to, you know, get better from those mistakes and not keep making the same ones. Rob, what did you learn in, your, in the two exhibition games that helped you personally? Um, I just think, uh, you know, the speed of the game is, you know, a little bit faster. And I kind of learned that in the exhibition games in, in Canada. Um, but, they, you know, that's one thing that, that I noticed. And, you know, that's just the key that we're going to have to rebound um, from all the guard spots. I think that's going to be, you know, one of the keys for the season also. So that's something I learned. Rob, um, Coach was saying that you've worked out with uh, Ben Wallace in the past. I mean, what are some of the things, you know, you've, you've taken from some of those workouts? Um, well, the biggest thing, you know, is he helped me when I'm in the weight room. Uh, he has a weight room uh, in Richmond, so whenever I go in there, you know, uh, it's easier, you know, to do things because, you know, he gives me pointers and, you know, he helps me with certain lifts. So that's the biggest thing. Um, but he also, you know, tells me, you know, what to look for and talking to other guards and people he played with. Um, you know, I play against them in open gym and things like that. So. When you when you coming off the pick and roll and he's has you know it make it easier when you know when the college players doing it so I think that's something that helped me. Pete, the, uh, for both you guys, as a team, you want to cut down the turnovers. You want to play fast. And you guys are young, so how hard is it to being young, playing fast, and not turning the ball over? How, how hard is that? Um, well, I think that this team has adapted real well to uh, knowing that we can't turn the ball over. And uh, knowing that we got to get up and down the court because uh, we're kind of small uh, right now. Um, and I think that as we keep getting up and down the court faster and uh, we're a quick team, so I think that's going to help us. Uh, yeah, I think the key is going to be just making the easy play. Um, I think sometimes as younger players, you know, sometimes you try to make the, the home run play or the spectacular play. I think the key for us is just going to be making the easy, you know, inside the plays. What do you guys know about Mississippi Valley State? Um, from what I heard, you know, they have a couple quick guards. Um, they're not real big, but, you know, they play fast like us. Um, I heard they're going to try to mix up that defense as far as traps, real aggressive on defense. Um, so, you know, like, like we were just talking about taking care of the ball and not turning over the ball is going to be one of the biggest keys for this game. Mike? Um, you guys were obviously really young when Mike Davis was coach here. Do you guys appreciate it all, the significance of him coming back here with uh, Texas Southern? Uh, yeah, I was really young. I remember hearing about him a couple times, like growing up uh, in Indiana. So, yeah, that's definitely a big thing to get a chance to play against. For both of you guys, the adjustment coming from high school to college in terms of preparation for every game, what what's different about it, and what is there anything that's been harder to pick up, or and how have you adjusted to it? Uh, really, just the preparation is a lot more different because you have to get ready for each and every game a lot uh, earlier. Um, in high school, sometimes you just go to the gym and uh, warm up, and that's it. But here, it's like a di whole different mindset. You have to be locked in the whole day, really. Yeah, and I think it's, it's more detail, way more detail than high school was. Um, from a scouting perspective, they take every little detail in, into account. As uh, far as you know, what's players' favorite moves, what what percentage did they shoot the best from on the court? So I think you know that's all things. If you know that and you take those things away, you know it, it gives you a better chance to win. So you really have to pay attention and focus when you're doing our uh, scouting things. Sam, for either one of you guys, but Coach Green was talking about the importance of rebounding from the guard perspective. Is there anything he has you guys doing in practice maybe that's different than what you've done before in terms of rebounding? Uh, since maybe that's not something you always had to do in high school. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, he's always told us that that's going to be a big key for our team. And in practice, we've been doing a lot of rebounding drills. Um, I feel like our guards are athletic, though, so um, we'll be able to get in there. And uh, we just got to know that that's something we got to do. In practice, do Immature and Stan play like a scout team against like the you know the starters, or are they kind of integrated in with you guys? How does that work? Um, with some things where we focus focusing on ourselves and. In our offense, they still play with us. But uh, yeah, when we play against the scout team, yeah, they do play on the scout team and, and play against us. Could this 
regular, could the regular season get here quickly enough for you, or do you wish you had a couple of more weeks to get ready for it? I mean, I've been so excited to play here, so I don't think it came too quick because I've been ready to play these games. So uh, I'm just glad it's here. Anything else for the guys? All right, thank you. Thank you.